Welcome to eFax Tech. My name is Pradeep and I will show you today how to install Mac OS Catalina on Windows PC using VMware Workstation Player. Before we start, I would really appreciate if you could subscribe my channel so you would not miss any important videos and also like, share with your friends. Now let's start with the video. So we will talk about the prerequisites first. Number one, virtualization should be enabled in the BIOS. Number two, VMware Workstation Player installed in a PC. Number three, VMware Unlocker to get an option to install Mac OS. Number four, Mac OS Catalina disk image or ISO. If you want to know how to enable virtualization in BIOS, please check the link I have mentioned in the video description. Also, you can download VMware Unlocker, Mac OS Catalina image and VMware Workstation Player from the link which I have in the description. Now, I have already downloaded the Unlocker tool which I am going to extract first. In the meanwhile, I'll tell you, VMware for Windows by default does not provide us with the option to install macOS on it because macOS is not meant to be run on any non-Apple hardware. So we will use this unlocker tool to enable that option within VMware Player. I will also show you VMware Player does not give you choice to install Apple macOS in the beginning once we install it unless you run this unlocker tool. So wait for a moment to finish this process here. So I have extracted this unlocker tool. We have all those files here. So we will close this. We will gonna run this later. First of all, we will download VMware Workstation Player. And for that, we have to go to the vmware.com. That's the official website for VMware. Once you open vmware.com, click on downloads at the top of the page and hover your mouse to the left hand free product downloads and click on workstation player. Once you click on this, it will open a new page which has two choices at the bottom, one for Windows, another for Linux. We will click on download now under workstation 15.5 player for Windows. Once the download will finish, we will double click that installer to install this and follow the on-screen instructions. I will fast forward this installation path because this will take some time. Now I'm going to launch VMware Workstation Player after the installation. Click on continue and finish. Click on create a new virtual machine and select I will install operating system later and next. As you see, there is no option for Apple Mac OS. Now we will go ahead and run that unlocker. For that, you have to do a right click on win hyphen install file and run as administrator. This will take some time and make sure when you're running this unlocker script, your VMware workstation player should not be running in the background else the unlocker script will fail. Now we will launch VMware Workstation Player. Click on create a new virtual machine. Select I will install operating system later and tap on next. As you see, we have Apple Mac OS 10 and the version drop down. So we will click on cancel and start with the installation path. Click on create a new virtual machine. Select installer disk image file tap on browse select the mac os catalina from your pc and click on open tap on next apple mac os should be selected and the correct version tap on next name the virtual machine as you like and click on browse if you want to change the location else leave as it is and click on next leave the disk capacity as it is Tap on next and hardware version you can change it later so click on finish. 
Now on this page, we will click on play virtual machine. This will take some time. I'm doing a fast forward to the video here. Select the language here and click on the arrow at the bottom. Now on this page, we need to select disk utility. It is very important. Make sure you follow the instructions correctly. Tap on continue. Select VMware Virtual SATA hard drive media from the left hand top. Click on Erase on the center of the page at the top. Once you click on Erase, name the drive as you like. Leave the other option as it is and click on Erase once again on this page. This will format the drive for the Mac OS. Once it's finished, click on done. Now we will close this disk utility. Select install Mac OS. Click on continue. This will start the Mac OS installation wizard. So click on continue on this page. Agree the license agreement for the Mac OS Catalina. Click on agree at the top one more time. Select the disk and click on install. The default size for the Mac OS Catalina virtual machine disk is 40 GB, but you can always increase this after the installation completes. This will take some time. Now select the country and click continue. Click on continue in this page. Click continue to data and privacy also. Now the default option is don't transfer any information now. Let it be selected. Click on continue. If you have any existing Apple ID, you can log in with that or tap on setup later. You can always create Apple ID at any point of time after the installation click on skip agree the terms and conditions click on agree at the top one more time now create a new user account for your mac os login Whenever you see any prompt while doing any task within your Mac OS, always enter the password for your Mac login. Now click continue to this express setup settings. Click continue on this page. Select setup later to this screen time. If you want enable ask CD, tap on continue. If you don't want uncheck that box and click on continue. On this page, choose the look which you want here and click on continue. This is going to set up your Mac, will take some time. Now, if you notice the display size is very small because VMware tools is not installed in this. To install VMware tools, first of all, we have to eject this installation image for your Mac OS Catalina in the right hand top. So do a right click on that Catalina image and select eject.
Now we will go ahead with the installation of VMware tools. For that, click on player on the left hand top corner and hover the mouse to manage and install VMware tools. It will mount the ISO automatically. Double click on install VMware tools and follow the on screen instructions. This will take some time. While the installation, it will prompt you for your Mac OS password. So put the Mac password on this page and proceed further. This may show you a block for the VMware tools installation. This pop-up, click on open system preferences. Click the yellow lock in the left hand bottom and put the Mac password on this page. and click allow on this page at the bottom. If you miss this pop-up or the VMware tools installation fails, come to this system preferences, security and privacy and general, and do the same steps again and run the VMware tools one more time. Once it's finished, it will prompt you to restart your system. So click on restart. It will restart your Mac OS virtual machine only. Now we have installed macOS Catalina successfully. I'm going to log in with the password here. And once you maximize the window, you will see the display is normal. We will verify the Mac OS version. For that, click on Apple logo in the left hand top corner. Click on about this Mac. This will show you Mac OS Catalina version installed on this PC. If you think this tutorial is helpful, please subscribe my channel and do not forget to like and share. If you have any suggestions or feedback about my channel or for this video, please feel free to mention that in the comment box. Thank you.